Advanced vocabulary. Avoiding collocation mistakes. Peer evaluation and feedback. Hello everyone. Today we're going to dive deep into a crucial aspect of English language learning, collocations. More specifically, we're focusing on the common collocation mistakes under the umbrella of assessment and evaluation. Our topic for this video is peer evaluation and feedback. Remember, in order to use English fluently, accurately, and naturally, it's essential to grasp these combinations of words or collocations. Before we venture into the intricacies of peer evaluation and feedback, let's refresh our understanding of collocations. These are groups of words that usually go together. For example, we say, take a shower, and not, do a shower. These combinations of words sound natural to native speakers, and mastering them can significantly improve your English fluency. Now let's talk about peer evaluation and feedback. In a learning environment, peer evaluation means assessing the work of your classmates, while feedback refers to providing constructive criticism or advice for improvement. It's a powerful learning tool as it encourages collaborative learning and critical thinking. There are several common collocation mistakes that learners often make when discussing peer evaluation and feedback. A common error is using incorrect adjectives in these collocations. For example, it's incorrect to say, do an evaluation. The correct collocation is, conduct an evaluation. Similarly, we don't, give a feedback, instead, we, provide feedback, or, give feedback. Remember, using the correct adjectives with collocations makes your English sound more natural and fluent. Let's put this into practice. I'll give you some incorrect collocations, and your task is to correct them using the right adjectives. Make a feedback. Create an evaluation. Perform feedback. Take your time to think about the correct collocations. The answers are give a feedback, conduct an evaluation, and provide feedback, respectively. We've now reached the end of our lesson on common collocation mistakes in the context of peer evaluation and feedback. Keep practicing these collocations, and remember, the key to mastering a language is consistency. I hope this video has been useful for your English language learning journey. Stay tuned for more lessons on advanced vocabulary and collocation mistakes. Until then, happy learning!